Penny Simmons. Uh, yes, I do. Do you think that she handled the disabilities announcement very well? Uh, look, I think, you know, as by her own admission, uh, and you've seen an apology from the Minister and also from the Ministry, I don't think it was handled as well as it could have been. I think it caused anxiety and stress for people, and that's not appropriate. Her, her decision making basically been taken off her with everything having to go through a cabinet now. Is that an effective Minister? Well, no, what we want to make sure is that any serious major change to frontline services does come before Cabinet. In this case, it didn't. Uh, it was uh, poorly consulted and poorly communicated, and uh, it's right that she apologised for it, as did the Ministry. Is that, is that a vote of no confidence in Penny Simmons? No, absolutely not. I think she's doing a great job. Um, she's a Minister, you know, as I said, she came out, declared it could have been done better, and it, and it should have been handled better, and it wasn't, uh, and she's apologised for it. The Minister of Finance has now said that you're topping up the funding to the end of the year. Does that mean all of the services will now be available, or...? Well, what we've done is we've worked within the budget that the previous government had. Obviously, it was overrun. We're making a, a contribution for this year's budget. And as we go into budget 24, uh, there'll be increased spending for disability services. Yep. What will also happen is there will be a review so that we actually make sure that every dollar that we're spending in disability services is actually having an impact that it should be having. The